Hey, welcome back to Medina's Kitchen. Today, we're having leftover spaghetti. Um, I've got the spaghetti sauce that I had frozen, and so we're gonna have leftover spaghetti, but we're going to do it a healthy way with spaghetti squash. So this is about a 2.2 pound thing of spaghetti squash, and it cost me a little over $3. And so now all I'm gonna do is cut it in half, and I'm going to attempt not to cut my hands because I've been really messing up my hands lately. Let's see. This thing is tough. I said it was tough. <laughs> okay. I think I need to get a better knife before I cut my hand open, like I did already once. So this is not going to be that pretty of a cut. Next time I will sharpen my knife before I start cutting. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the inside, and all we're going to do is we're going to scrape out these insides like this, scrape out the seeds. I haven't had one that thick in a long time. Any little seeds that get left in there during the cooking process will not hurt. Um, we'll just make sure we don't have them in our spaghetti as the noodles. These are going to, this is going to be the noodles. Alright. All I've done here is I've got a little bit of water there. And I'm just going to add a little bit of garlic seasoning to it. Just so that when it's steaming, it will uh, take on a little bit of the taste. And believe it or not, that already smells good. Alright, so now I'm going to put it upside down like that, or as my daughter used to say, upside o down. Alright, get this one out of here. Whoop, there goes a seed on the floor. One of the dogs will grab it, thinking it's something to eat. And you just do that with a spoon. Okay. As you can see, turn it upside down. Put them side by side in there. And then we're going to stick it in the oven. And I'll watch it. It's, it's going to be on 375. I haven't got it heated yet, but it will preheat. 375 for about 30 to 45 minutes. I'll poke it with a fork to see if it's done. And then I'll show you what happens afterwards. Come back and see us. Okay, so it has been about 45 minutes. And they're a little brown on the top. Normally not that way, but I had to run to the store. So, let me put that down. Uh, cancel my oven, turn my oven lights off. Okay, so... This is your spaghetti squash. Now, it's going to be hot. And I need a bowl to put it in. So give me just a second. We'll do it in this bowl. Okay, so it's hot. I see a couple of seeds that I missed. That's not a problem. Just knock them on out. Uh-uh. Shh. All right. I think I'm going to have to hold it with these. It's too hot. If I can, I may not be able to. Normally, I let it cool just a little bit, but I'm trying to get it done right now. All right. And so now, if you see, all I'm doing now is just knocking, knocking down the, the noodles. You see how that works? Now, if you want to do like last week when I did this, I put 
take a little bit out like that and then put this in our plate and put the spaghetti on it and that way you can dig out as much as you want so I'll show you what that looks like and I, I didn't I didn't keep the recipe I mean I didn't show you the recipe of making this because this has been in the freezer I just wanted to have spaghetti but I'll just scoop it up put it in there like that if we wanted to we could put some cheese on top and put it back in the oven and bake on it but see then that way all you gotta do is dig your bite and it is good so I hope you enjoyed this quick recipe of a good uh, meal to make and I made a strawberry and avocado salad to go with it and we will not be having bread but we will have this hope y'all like it Thank you.